we are going to see about the event and the generic handlers okay how we can perform a generic handlers and what are all the generic handlers that has been or event handlers that has been available in a capm in a capm framework for those first you need to know what is a event handlers okay let me go to the capa document okay here see we are going to use a custom event handlers okay but apart from this custom event handlers we have a lot of event handlers that we can able to use within a capm framework in this what are all those event handlers is let me show you that yeah pagination and sorting and uh, yeah these are our generic providers redirected association to, uh, no service provides basically react on events in event handlers plugged into respective hooks provided by the core service runtimes service definitions in more basics uh, in its most basic form a service definition simply declares uh, the data entities and its operation service example okay the service facets are there denormalized views auto expose the entities generic providers yeah the generic providers we can't use it in our trial account it needs a dedicated uh, enterprise account so that we can able to use those generic providers and apart from that we can use only the custom event handlers in in our uh, trial account because uh, those things it can be used with a js code so that we will in a real time uh for those the projects which i am working on i am using only this custom event handlers so far we will see that custom event handlers what are the custom event handlers and how we can use a uh, hooks on the, the custom event handlers okay first we will see what are all the event handlers available what are the custom event handlers available within your custom implementation you can register event handlers like this in a node.js format in a node.js format we can insert a event like this submit order create update read and the request response within an arrow function we can use this and what are the hooks available for that event handler in a custom event handler is on before and after okay on is uh, handler run instead of a generic or default handlers okay on means what is on event handlers means what it refers means if you are going to change the method okay what are all the crud operations that we are doing with a, by default with a capm framework those things you want to do it by your own okay i am telling uh, the projection how you are projection entities with a service method those things you have to restrict or you are going to do with your own for those you can create a on event handler and you can change the way how you need to expose a service or expose a entity to the clients to the end user for that the on event handlers will be useful on handlers run instead of a generic or default handlers okay it will run apart from the default handlers what are all the default way that we are following as of now to create a service to project a service and uh, to expose a service okay those things we are following as of now a default way but once you use this on event handler 
we are not going to follow those default way instead of that everything will be custom i will show you an example how we can use a on event handler before to that i will show you how we can use a before and after event handler okay fine for that what you have to do you have to let me go to the business application studio in this business application studio what i will do i will be creating a one more file within the same name okay those event handlers will be used in a javascript file okay you can't use the event handlers in this cds file because it will be a javascript code so that you have to create a javascript file within the name uh, within the same name of your cds file then only it will work so that i am creating a new file in a srb folder next to the service dot service dot cds as service dot js okay service dot js is created now now what i am going to do i am just going to do a module dot export module dot export Okay, module dot export is equal to CDS dot service dot going to do a implementation so that i'm using as cds impl impl annotation uh, this is a standard for standard syntax you will be using uh, while do, going to write anything in a uh, implementation that you are going to write in a javascript file this is a standard syntax you need to follow this i'm going to do a asynchronous call so that a synchronous call so that i'm using a asynchronous asynchronous function const and then const okay and then const what i'm going to do i'm going to get the entities okay this dot this refers to this file this dot entities okay in this i'm what i'm going to get a customer entity okay which is a customer's entity. Fine. Module dot exports is equal to CDS dot service dot IMPL async function. Okay, exposing I'm getting a so entities. Okay, here I'm getting a entities. Now this dot before i'm going to use a before event handler of post customers across comma response
if request dot data dot first name is equal to empty okay then i am telling to throw an error of which is a 400 is a error code please enter first name okay here what i have did the standard syntax which i have followed module dot export cds service dot implementation as i have taken a synchronous function because those are all the synchronous objects uh, i have got taken uh, i have taken the entities which that has to be exposed here so that i have taken a customer entities in this line number three then i what i'm going to do this dot before before is a event that we have referred okay that event in an post operation customers entity i'm going to do a if i do a post without a first name or if the first name is a empty string then it will throw an uh, error response as 400 is a status code and the message you will get is please enter first name okay now we will test this with the http file ending of a statement just i am giving a name as maria here it's an empty string okay now we have added the condition in the service.js file we will send a request and see what the response we are getting okay i'm sending a request now it has been updated this is wrong it should not be create okay we will check why it's not happening here okay request response if request dot data dot first name we will see the first name is correct or not yeah fine okay Julie Fine. Once I send a request in this you should get an error and the status is please enter error is please enter first name and the stated code is 400 okay this is what we have given a custom handler with the before before entering a data to a customer's entity it will throw an error like this okay like this you can handle the multiple handlers you want as per your requirement but this is the way that you have to do okay and in real time you will get an requirement to the same okay while inserting a data or updating a data before to the table you need to do some actions we need to check some of the conditions and once the data has been inserted next to that insertion happened then you need to do some of the operations you need to add uh, some additional data to that same entity sets within a data which has been added to your entity those things we will be get but how you can handle this with this with the help of this custom event handler you can handle those things by easily 
hope you can understand this do you have any doubt so far nitish with this custom event handler hi nitish Okay, now we have seen a before. Okay, the same thing. Uh, I would like to go after in some of the uh, things. I will like to give uh, the exercise to you. How you can do a uh, after uh, event handlers. Uh, how you can handle that. If you have any doubt while doing the exercise, then we will discuss on the next session. Okay, but take it as an exercise. The after event handler you should be do by your own. Just try with this. If you have any doubt, we will discuss in the next class.